I must tell you, I have been overwhelmed by your reaction to my mother's passing. It has been wonderful and re-energizing, and I thank you kindly for it. And in the warm, embracing shadow of our shared humanity, that brings us to Countdown's number two story, tonight's worst persons in the world. Mom always liked this segment best. Countdown's number two story, the bronze to the manatee, our, uh, who opened his hour of delusion by saying, Welcome to day number 77 at the age of Obama, and it is looking dangerous, and that is our headline on this Monday night. All right, so it starts out with the President of the United States of America telling the rest of the world that America is an arrogant country, and then seemingly apologizing for our engagement in the war on terror, the war on terror that the 9-11 Commission report said was being waged on us that we weren't paying attention to. Wait, so bin Laden was also waging a war on terror? Boy, that went south quickly. As to Hannity, what set him off apparently was Obama's statement that the United States is not and will never be at war with Islam because Hannity does not realize there is a difference between Islam and terrorism, or because he doesn't want to realize it. Just a coincidence that the Hannity show begins with an illustration of a giant balloon filled with hot air. Runner-up, the unidentified sellers of this Hitler gave great speeches to t-shirt uh, they told the Washington Independent that they had sold out of three boxes of the shirt by 3 p.m. Saturday at the Knob Creek machine gun shoot outside Louisville. The gun shoot at which new members were being recruited by the National Rifle Association. And this message to the NRA, NRA, if you do not want your organization to become synonymous with racism, treason, hatred, paranoia, and political assassination fantasies, you'd better do something and fast. Oh, and murdering policemen, I forgot. If you don't want your organization to become synonymous with murdering policemen, bringing us to our winner, Harold Hill. I'm sorry, Glenn Beck. Richard Poplowski killed three Pittsburgh policemen on Saturday because he was afraid of, a friend said, quote, the Obama gun ban that's on the way. And he, quote, didn't like our rights being infringed upon. When several websites correctly pointed out that this sounded awfully like one of Beck's hysterical rantings, or maybe his interview last month with the head of the NRA, Beck immediately went back to his normal speed. High, stupid dudgeon. Blaming anyone except that nut job for what happened in Pittsburgh is crazy. Police officers over the weekend were killed by a crazy with a gun. And blaming anybody else besides him is like blaming the flight attendant after a terrorist takes down a plane. Giving passengers a nice little safety talk to prepare them doesn't mean you're responsible should a terrorist actually make that worst case scenario happen. Ah, uh, see, here's where you go wrong. You're not the flight attendant on the plane, and thanks for invoking that image again. You, Beck, are one of the cowards safely on the ground telling the nut job on the plane that it's time to quote rise up you remember march 19th right well actually you probably don't the second amendment is under fire we knew that they were going to try to bring the assault weapon ban back but now they're blaming it on mexico the 912 project which is kind of a grassroots thing where you can go meet other people who think like you and think about values and principles and want to do something to take your country back and then you proceeded to read a letter from a woman who said that since the election, she'd gone out and bought a handgun and joined the NRA. So when you talk about taking your country back and then you read letters from people who are stockpiling guns, do you think these things are unconnected? That people even crazier than you, who you are encouraging to do something to take your country back, that they have bought these guns as paperweights? They've bought them to shoot other people with. You, Glenn Beck, you personally are encouraging Americans to shoot other Americans. Maybe, especially if you're right about your religion, maybe not this psychotic in Pittsburgh. Maybe he's not your fault. I hope not. But what about the next one, Glenn? You want to cry about something on television? Cry about the next one. Beg him to ignore you. Beg the kids, the next one, orphans, to forgive you. Glenn Beck, today's worst person in the world.